tonight's video for your viewing pleasure is the Acer Veriton 1000. Yes, this is a computer. Although it looks like it could just as easily just be some kind of portable. Who knows what. But <clears throat> tonight, I'm going to show you all about this thing. This is something I picked up at Value Village. I saw it there and I didn't even realize it was a computer at first. I thought it was some kind of uh, router or something. It's so small. It's actually relatively easy to take apart though. First step is to take the foot off of it. And as you can see from the back, you've got yourself some good uh, ventilation. And you got yourself a couple of nice features on here. You got yourself your standard VGA, but you do have a, a DVI, which is nice because, you know, a lot of uh, monitors that I picked up at Belly Village have those kinds of connectors. And of course, now you got your four uh, USB, Ethernet, and quite a, an array of. Um, sound so you could actually theoretically hook this thing up to um, a fairly complicated uh, sound system and then of course it has your power jack this uses <coughs> oh, I forget what it is now uh, I got the power jack though uh, let's take a look if I can see if I can read it here <coughs> <clears throat> there it is. Yeah, so there's the specs. Core 2 Duo, Vista based. I've upgraded the RAM. I also upgraded the hard drive. I'm just looking for, it's a 2008. Just looking for the power. Oh, there you go. 19 volts by 7.1. So you can get it and figure out what. Um, wattage that is by just doing your calculation so it's pretty hefty but i did end up getting the um adapter it's a bit pretty chunky but um yeah there you go very nice <clears throat> so yeah very happy that i came across this the only problem with it that i discovered well at first it had a, a locking nut but that was actually really easy to defeat. It's like, I'd always thought those would, would be hard to actually get get off, but I like got, got it off with a um, something as simple as a, uh, I believe it was just a, uh, even those pliers. So anyway, here's your inside of this guy. <coughs> Sorry for the bouncing around here. Okay, I'm not gonna take it all apart because it is fully functional and it works fine. Let's take a look at that. that. Yeah, it is the, oh, so I must have left the, must have left the original in there. Okay. One time I had a different um, hard drive. Must have put it back. Anyway, um, oh, I know why I remember. I put in a bigger hard drive and I discovered, yeah, so the thing I was gonna tell you about, uh, I discovered that the problem with this thing is that you can't really um, install Windows 7 on it because there's it's got a couple of components in here that are really hard to find drivers for. So if you want full driver capability, you are stuck with what is what it was, what it uh, was designed for, which was Vista. So there you go. There's kind of an inside shot of it. Everything's kind of covered up. You can pull this up and uh, <clears throat> and remove everything, but uh, that's not the kind of video we're doing today. And you know, it's got uh, it's very very compact. I'd say the biggest challenge it faces. Look at this. Uh, look at this um, heat dissipation solution they got going on there. That's the big challenge with this thing. They've engineered this thing to be compact 
they didn't even put in a small hard drive. It's a full size hard drive. So you can imagine just how much hot, how much heat's coming off this thing. But it actually does okay as long as you make sure all the venting's clean. So there you go. Okay, what, what's going on here? What's going on? Oh. system yeah, it's, it does pretty well like I said I was gonna try and upgrade it to Windows 7 and see how far it could, it could go but to be honest with you it's um, it's really not worth doing that Windows Vista is fine with it and uh, you, know, you can get a few things running on it and again things I do are typical typically office sort of went oriented a lot of it productivity stuff. I'm sure you can game on it too, but I don't do a lot of that kind of stuff. But look how compact that thing is. It's so everything's just in there. No air, no, no room to, uh, to fool around. You can see the air comes through the top here, which is a pretty good idea because of course heat rises so you can dissipate the air or the heat through that method. And as you can see from the front, You've got a slot loading uh, DVD <coughs> on and off here. Got more USB. So the thing has a total of eight USB um, ports. So very nice that way. Full capability. It's a, it's a full full featured uh, you know um, computer, just in a really small package. And again, they have ventilation in the front here. And, uh, you know, I'm, I've never been a big fan of Acer, right? Their, their approach to doing things, but I gotta give them credit in that they have done a really good job on this thing. And it even looks really sharp, I think, the styling. And of course you can, you can lay it down like it has these rubber feet. So you could theoretically have this thing on your desktop laying down like this and treat it like a very small form factor desktop computer. But once you have this uh, this guy here, you might as well just have it standing up. And it's better for the airflow because, you know, your vent, your vents are right on the top. And, uh, you know, like I said, heat rises, so that's the best place for the venting to go. So there you go. <coughs> that is. The Acer Veriton 1000. Now I picked this thing up. I think it was 25 bucks. And I thought, that's a pretty damn good deal. That's going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.